Tonight, the man who admitted to killing his girlfriend with a homemade cannon is speaking only to 10 News from the Chula Vista Jail. This after pleading guilty to the crime yesterday. You know, we just did it because we were bored and just trying to have fun. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty is now joining us live from the Chula Vista Jail. And, and Dan, he faces a long time in prison. Yeah, it could be a decade, Steve. He's in jail behind me here in Chula Vista tonight. Something he says he's okay with except for the fact that he thinks people have the wrong idea about what he did and how his girlfriend was killed. Richard Fox has already been in jail for about two years because of something everyone involved with the case agrees was an accident. It was stupid, you know, but you know, we just did it because we were bored and just trying to have fun, you know? That fun was here at his home in Petrero until an explosion from homemade fireworks killed his girlfriend, Jeanette Ogara. I pulled out my phone and I called 911, you know, immediately. Uh, and I told them, I, I told them, I said, you know, my, my, my cannon broke, you know, and, and they were like, well. The word cannon followed the story ever since. This is the kind of thing he was talking about. Metal welded shut at the bottom. He would pack it with gunpowder and sparklers and light a wick. It was a fireworks launcher that broke because it out. He pleaded guilty this week to felony charges of explosion of a destructive device, but doesn't want people to have the wrong idea about him. He charged me with this, some charge that's made for like terrorists or the people that did the Boston Marathon bombing, you know, like people that do that kind of stuff on purpose to hurt people on purpose. I didn't, I didn't do that. But he will spend the better part of a decade in prison for what he did do, all the while wishing he could trade places with Ogara, his partner of 11 years and mother to his four-year-old daughter. I, I didn't stop. I didn't stop giving her CPR you know, until we got there. But I, I knew it was, it was too late, you know? His formal sentencing will be in September. He faces again between six and ten years. In Chula Vista tonight, Dan, ha Dan Haggerty, 10 News.